What's up guys? So this is going to be like a follow me along video like I was doing on the onset of the pandemic. Um, today, I don't even know the date. Couldn't tell you. It's Saturday. Um, this is weekend number four that I'll be going to Ohio Fish Rescue. But today is not a day that I'm doing work up there. The Bellagio stands are done. What's going on today is we're going to go pick something up for the fish rescue. I am currently on my way to White Oak Stables. Um, they are kind enough to let me borrow their truck because I needed to get a big equipment trailer. I got a tandem axle trailer. And um, the rental companies here in Ohio do not allow you to get any of their equipment unless you have at least a three quarter ton pickup truck. Now granted, my pickup truck is a Sierra 1500, and it's only a couple years old. It's rated to tow what I need to, but the rental companies won't let me get this trailer. I'm not trying to get equipment from them. I just want their trailer, but they won't let me take the trailer without a three quarter ton truck. Now my friends <clears throat> at the White Oak Stable, um, well, I always say the, their website is the White Oak Stable, but um, it's just White Oak Stable and they have a one ton diesel truck that they're going to let me borrow, which is super awesome of them. And they even went to go pick up the trailer for me yesterday while I was at work because the rental company's hours are the same as my work hours. I just, there's no way I can go get the truck, go get the trailer and make it back to work um, on my lunch break. So they're really helping out, helping us out a lot on this project. Um, so if you're in the central Ohio area and you need to board a horse or get horse lessons, check out the whiteoakstable.com and um, they're located <clears throat> just south of Columbus, um, basically the Canal Winchester area. But um, it's a really nice family, so definitely check them out. Um, they're just great people. But anyways, I'm on my way there. It is uh, one o'clock on the dot. Um, I was supposed to be at the Velvet Ice Cream Company at 2.30, which I'm on time for that, but I got a text message from Mike, who's there, saying that uh, they had some machinery breakdown, and um, so they're running behind on schedule, so instead of being there at 2.30, I don't really need to be there until like 3.30 um, to give them time to try to fix stuff at work. But anyways, um, <coughs> excuse me. I will uh, record uh, a little bit once I get to the farm, and um, I'll see you guys there. But thanks for watching, and can't wait to show you what we're getting for Ohio Fish Rescue. Alright guys, I got the truck in the trailer, um, uh, very grateful and thankful that uh, Josh and Carrie let me borrow their truck so I could do this for the Ohio Fish Rescue. It's definitely a nice truck, um, it's probably the same year as mine but it's a one ton. It's a little bit bouncier because it's got a heavy duty suspension on it so it doesn't really ride as smooth. I'm trying to hold the camera steady but uh, it's got the grunt and power to pull what I needed to pull. Um, this diesel will do its job. But anyways, I'll uh, get back with you guys as soon as I get to uh, Velvet Ice Cream. Alright guys, spilling the beans. We're getting a forklift. Uh, Velvet Ice Cream here in Utica, Ohio is donating a forklift and a power jack. So let me flip you around and show Josh doing some work. So there's Josh. He is using a come along. This thing needs a starter. And uh, that's why we're getting it. And uh, here's the power jack they gave us, or gave Josh. 
and uh, we decided Josh can get the first workout going yeah. of the day. So we gotta pull this thing all the way up on. guys we are loaded up and we're heading to uh, the fish rescue for about an hour and a half drive to get there um, I didn't really record much of loading the forklift because uh, I did be, had to be hands-on to help get that thing on it was heavy as crap um, we had to use a come along the whole way um, we were able to get it up and it's all strapped down I use binders which are basically what you would see on like a semi that's hauling like heavy construction equipment. Um, use those on chains versus using like ratchet straps because they're stronger. Um, I'll try to show you if I remember to take a video when we get back. But um, yeah, we're on our way to the rescue now. All right, guys, we made it. We're at the fish rescue. We just unchained the forklift. Josh is going to go get his four wheeler key and we're going to try to pull this thing straight off the trailer. Um, this trailer bed does tilt, which is super nice. So let me get this thing ready for him. All right, I unlocked the tilt feature, so this thing's ready to go. We'll see if Josh can pull it. All right, guys, the forklift is unloaded. I got to get some actual fish in this video. So Josh has these giant Danios that I'm going to take home and put my 75 gallon. So there's actually fish in this video, guys. There's eight fish. There's a bunch more fish. And there are eight of these guys, or nine, something like that. Eight or nine. We're watching the ultimate fish keeper here try to catch one little fish. Just one. It's a quick one. Proving harder to be expected. Got him. There we go. I think that is all the Danios. Yes, sir, it is. All right. All right, guys, I am just now leaving Ohio Fish Rescue. It is 7.20 p.m. I gotta take the truck back to my friends at uh, White Oak Stable. And then it's about two and a half hour drive-ish um, from here. So I gotta take the truck back and then grab my truck and head home let my dogs out feed them dinner stuff like that and um, it's a hot day for sure today especially uh, hand winching that forklift up but it's done uh, another successful OFR trip and um, they gave me some filters and stuff that I'm gonna put on my 55 so I appreciate that and I got those giant Danios they're in a bucket behind me and they have a USB mini air pump on them and um, all right, guys, I'm home. It's 11.30 p.m. Um, I had to drive uh, just south of Columbus to take the truck back to my friend um, at White Oak Stable. Um, thank you so much for letting me borrow your truck. I truly appreciate it. Check them out, guys. Their website is thewhiteoakstable.com. Um, if you're looking to board your horse, uh, get riding lessons, or um, things like that. Sorry, I turned on YouTube and it's playing. Turn that off. Um, anyways, I guess I got some shadows going on here. Dogs are glad I'm home. Successful day, no injuries. I'm extremely tired. I don't know if you can tell. But um, I want to also thank OFR on their behalf of... On their behalf... I don't even know that's what I meant to say. Uh, I want to thank OFR for giving me the shout outs in their um, Bellagio stand build video that they released today. Um, my subscriber count jumped up. I really appreciate all you new subscribers. It really does help me and keeps me motivated to um, keep putting in the hard work. And um, it's tired, but it's one of those good tires. You know, hard, hard work and sleep good so so thanks for watching guys thanks for the new subs and if you're not sub sub all that fun stuff i'm gonna go to bed i'm sorry i gotta go to bed i'll see you guys thanks for watching 
Are you a fish? Are you a fish? How about you? Oh, hi. Zoom out here. How are you? Are you in Arwana? Get back. Ooh. I don't think you're a fish either. Are you guys fish? I don't think you're fish. Are you fish? That's pig pig. I don't think pig pig's a fish. And this one's violet? Yes. That's violet. Also not a fish. Also not a fish. These ones are pets, not food. Although I'm sure they'd be tasty. Hi, Dingo. You're not a fish. Biscuit.